I was personally very, very excited to, to come here and, and speak to uh, Roberto and to also speak to the other two winners uh, because ultimately they have uh, their views on, uh, on, on how we can bring this kind of, uh, let's say, bigger picture of mobility to, to life really and, and they are the ones that uh, know all the detailed processes uh, of, of how we can make this uh, potential reality for the future. So I've been very, uh, very excited to, to come here and uh, speak to Roberto and speak to his team uh, about what, uh, uh, what can be done uh, in the future to, uh, to let's say, the, improve the, the image of mobility and ensure that it, that it survives in a, in a sustainable form. Having, uh, let's say, German genes, you inevitably grow up to, to like cars and you inevitably grow up with cars. Uh, so certainly I, I share a passion uh, for cars just as, as, uh, as all my other countrymen, I would assume. So that's, that's something that's always been with me. So I think I'm a little bit of an oddball here because I went on a design contest without actually giving a design but rather I looked at the whole perspective of, of the industry and I looked at how different car concepts can bring kind of the, the bigger picture of sustainable mobility to, to life in a, a little bit more distant future. And also from Sebastian Grinoiser from Hamburg, Germany, we really had the possibility to have a walk into the future because the, you know, the keynotes uh, uh, written here were about uh, the expression of the service itself. So basically the designers know how to converge into physical proposals or design identities, but more into the network, how they will be organized as a service, uh, how the mobility will be organized and, uh, and served to the customers. And a very brilliant execution of uh, and very mature interpretation how to prefigurate uh, a, a design approach with this uh, briefing. Thank you.